guest is well, yeah. he's one half of Australia's favourite comedy mm. duo. He's been all around the world. He's seen football in places that we can only imagine. Mm. Can you please welcome our good friend, Mr. Andy Lee? Yeah. Officially, the first person to wear a onesie on the show. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you very much. Where do you get? Where on earth does a person get a Socceroos onesie? I wish I'd gone to the toilet before putting it on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you've got one over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right. It's, it's always awkward. The urinal. You do that thing when you're in primary school. You go all the way down with your pants all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's what I was doing. Yeah, but we see. So first things first. You are a big. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Where'd you oh, yeah, where did you get that? Is this just over? That's the hard one. No, just follow up, mate. Where'd you get that? Uh, it got sent to us, us actually. I mean, you know, in, in, in radio. Yes, they terms, send you things. They send you things. Normally, it's a box. one of the only things I've kept. Oh, really? <laughs> Normally, if the box is ticking or meowing, you send it back. Yes. That's, <laughs> that, is, that is the old rule. Hey, but you are a, a huge sports fan. We mm -hmm. always see you at, at, at Socceroos games. Now, I this see, I see, every Socceroos game I go to, I see you there. Yeah. yeah. You love it. Yeah. yeah you love um, it. I, I, I feel like I'm stalking you a little bit, though, but you're <laughs> always going off to the box, and I'm over. I was oh, like, hang on. That is true. He's always going, yeah, official them. There's a lot of people escorting you. That's very true. I mean, there's people that go down and clear the way. They're like, yep, that's yep, very, very true. true. <laughs> 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 yeah, and clear the way, the guy selling peanuts is... <laughs> 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 um, and then, yeah, you'll find me with a, with the a few back. beers at the top. Yeah. <laughs> but you had a, an amazing moment this year. I remember we were, I was watching the Cricket World Cup final. Yes. Now, you have somehow wangled your way. Now, look, this is you on the field yep. telling a joke to the Australian cricket team before we go out there and play. Now, Davey Warner loves it. <laughs> <laughs> they had a great time. They, yep. they, we, they, we won the game. We crushed New Zealand. And I text you at the time, all right, one day you're going to have to tell me what that joke was. Yes. What was the joke you told the Australian cricket team? I just uh, reeled off the highlights of your show, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll never tell the joke oh, because oh, it's, it's so powerful it wins oh. your World Cup. So oh. <laughs> imagine Wait. this joke falls into the hands of Zimbabwe or something. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's, it's, like, it's like Superman teaching people how to, how to fly. Fair enough. It is well, let me ask you about it, though. Yeah. Was it really that funny or were they slightly humorous? No, but they, they glare at you. So I've, oh. Hamish, I've, Hamish and I have had the opportunity to do this before. Bulf brought it in, the uh, coach of Australia oh, yeah. uh, brought this in. And, and he said, Only Australia can have a coach called Bull. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't think he was head teamed off with an AMI. And uh, just to relax the players, right. um, they have a joke before every game, and, and at Boxing Day test, if you don't do a good enough joke, if no one laughs, they invite you back the next day. Which I oh, and I oh. love being out there, so I was just going to try and tan <laughs> do some Samsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be serious. But they, they. They, they glare at you. Oh, so you kind of go into it and, really? you know, most of them, I mean, they're ahead of the biggest game they're going to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and most of them come up to me going, don't stuff it up. You know, oh, so oh, so that is before, no before pressure. The but, um, it went well. Yeah, they're all glaring and, uh, and thankfully it went well. That's what Santo does to us before the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, there was an English and a... Hang on, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 but you are a bona fide, you've been to football, because you travel so much around, mm. you and Hamish doing the gap years. Yep. You know, in South America, did you go to any games? Yeah, we went to a game in Buenos Aires uh, to watch River Plate. Oh, oh really? Wow. That's fantastic. And the definition of a home ground advantage. Because really? I don't think the visiting spotters are allowed to actually go. No. <laughs> <laughs> or they just want to avoid death. Yeah, so yeah, it's, right. it's your option. Stay home. It was quite a, we, we scalped the tickets out the front, Hamish and I nervously. Um, right. We were told they were set seats. Once I got in there, I realised it wasn't, and I wasn't going to argue with the with the guy smoking a cigar in my seat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he was holding his chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was eight years old, but he had more. <laughs> <laughs> And then Hamish and I proceeded to watch this game and not know anyone's names, right, which yeah. is which is difficult. Yeah. We, but we learnt this thing, and whether this is slightly racist or not, yeah. Bill, you, you can. Well, this is the show. show. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> good to have you. You can replace <laughs> players' actual names with just any food Fantastic. from the local uh, cuisine. <laughs> yeah. So we sat there and invented new names, and then we could actually refer to the people Fantastic. on the field yeah. and go, oh, "He's playing well." You know, so we're like, you know. Taco to nacho, uh, fajita, making some good runs down the wing. Yeah, guacamole, great goal. Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we knew them all by the yeah, end. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's uh, that is racist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you watched the game where you didn't know the names of the players, yeah. like yes. watching a Newcastle Jets game. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, 
where, where else have you seen? Uh, I've, been, been, I've been, been to the Premier League. Yeah, I went to. Uh, I'm a Gunners fan. Yeah, that's the yeah. Do you have a onesie? A gunsy. Um, <laughs> I, uh, one you of can my tell mates... that to the Australian team. <laughs> <laughs> one of my mates built... If, if three... he wants to be invited back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't build... I was going to say he built the stadium. He didn't build wow. the stadium. He was uh, the senior project manager. One of my okay. friends from nice. school. Wow. And um, he invited me as long as I became a Gunners fan forever. So it was like, I think it was the second game at Emirates ever. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I went along, which was, was pretty exciting. It was, it was great. Who, was that... Who would they play? They played Blackburn, so I got to see Emerton and, and Lucas oh. Neal playing. Oh. So it was nice to see a couple of Aussies out yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, Van Persie and Abbeville and uh, I hope I pronounced that incorrectly. No, you're right, yeah. Um, <laughs> pronounce guacamole, by the way. And who else? Uh, uh, yeah, Van Persie was in there, Fabregas, Fabregas. all playing for, for the Gunners. Um, and the, uh, the Gunners scored a goal in the first six minutes. Mm. Right. Then went on to score three more. I was like, oh, it's going to be a whitewash. Mm -hmm. Blackburn came back, scored two. So it was 3 2 and tight for a while. Hey. Gunner scored two more. It was 5 2. I was like, ah, oh, every game's like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, I like soccer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soccer's great. Yeah. Soccer's great. Yeah. Oh, don't you think that you going to see that game, mm -hmm. the only an Aussie would lead with in terms of who you saw, mm -hmm. they'd put Emerton and Neil. Van <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, you've been to the Emirates. This is an observation I've got for you, yep. Andy Lee. The, the, Arsenal, a big, big club, mm -hmm. and that's the EPL. It's a beautiful stuff. stadium. They say it's yes. the nicest stadium. Is it yeah. really nice? Is it, is yeah. it, it was brand new. It was, it was really nice. Wow. I okay. mean, he sits in the nicest seats in all stadiums. So yeah. 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 I don't yeah. sell peanuts just anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the but you know, the, the EPL sometimes does get accused of the haves and the have-nots in the stadiums, big clubs, small clubs. Last week, Arsenal went to Burnley. Now, I know Arsenal have uh, have the Emirates in their big stadium, but down at Burnley, yeah. they are also into their transport yeah. in terms of sponsorship. <laughs> the, for instance, the players, when they come out to the ground, mm -hmm. they come out through the uh, Bristol Street Motors Tunnel. <laughs> 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 they play in front of the gorgeous David Fishwick stand. Oh, yeah. And Emirates, yeah. look, a lovely airline, but if you want a minibus... <laughs> Fish weeks are in charge of that. Yeah. Fish they, run that, that. they run that joint. Hey, so Andy, I believe that you, in your infinite, you've done some research, have you, for our show? I know. This is strange. I've got together with Hamish, and Hamish and I have been trying to find. We know we're not very good at sport, right? So we always watch sport, hoping for loopholes in the rules. Ah, okay. So how well do you know your rules? Well, Perth Glory do that. <laughs> <laughs> The, the loopholes are the rules. All right, no, okay. Well. We'll, 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 okay. we'll, we'll, we'll so back ourselves. My first question, can you play wearing a hat? The goalkeeper can. The goalkeeper can, can. Goal, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So say, I say if the hat had a, a cone. Yeah. Like a cone. <laughs> like a, a cone hat. Yeah. Like a dunce. So no, it goes up and then inverted yeah, so like cone. like a little buckety sort of You know, yeah. con like the, concave, like the, not convex. Like yeah. the women used to wear in the 1500s. <laughs> yeah. The purple veils. Well, well the, no, wow, no, the veil. That's just, a bizarre question there. <laughs> <laughs> just say if it, was, if it had a bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah like a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And someone chipped it into, into your it, bowl. Yeah. Could yeah. he run the length of the ground and just dive in. <laughs> <laughs> that's rule, that's rule 15... <laughs> yeah. Like, is that possible? They kicked that out in the 1500s, it kept happening <laughs> so too much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, okay, okay, well, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. Because you, no, you, do do you couldn't have a... Because of the shaped hat, they'd test yeah, your hat and go too bowly? Yeah, yeah, too bowly. OK, okay. <laughs> well, what if... What too bowly. Too bowly. What if you had a strong afro... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Like yeah. a Fresh Prince back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could cut in a bowl. <laughs> yes. And a hairspray. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get someone to chip it up in. That would be OK. I think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that would be both OK and incredible, just as the other team watch going, hey, what yeah. are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, well, I'm not going to go and... In, I think they're all great ideas. So yeah, I'll, I'll give, give you one more. That's, that's, good. that's a yes. Yes, you can yes, do that. Yes, is there it. any rule... This is from Haim. Okay. Is there any oh, rule... he's an expert. <laughs> Anyone knows sport, it's Hamish Blake, yeah. <laughs> is there any rule against digging? While you're out there, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't take tools, yeah, off. they don't have a trowel. No, no, just no, dig. Just, just like, with your hands. Yeah, or you could take your shoe off and dig. No, no rule. <laughs> no rule against digging. Could so, be ungentlemanly behaviour, perhaps. No, no, no. Is that a rule? Yeah. Is that a specific? I'm rule? sure you can't do damage to the pitch. I think okay. you can't do now, that. Now, I don't think anyone's ever been sent off for pitch damage. So, say, <laughs> so, so say if the left back and you're, 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 you're a goal up. Right, okay. you're a goal up. Yep, we're a goal up. starts digging a, a, a ball shaped hole. Like, like yeah, ball yeah, shaped. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you want to try and waste the clock out, yeah, yeah. Just get the ball in the hole. Just keep it in the hole. Like and no one can like get it out. Golf. Yeah, because right. you can't get your legs. They've got to make it perfectly spherical. But yeah. you, can't, you can't get your legs down in there. And so, do you stand over the hole then, like you've laid an egg sort of thing? Under a 
Just you protect, taking a, uh, protect the ball that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I'd get the ball. How, how long did you put into that? <laughs> 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 TV show to get rid of or something? Will you, no. stick, will, you stick, will you stick around? I'm, I'm happy to stick around. Because oh, I want to hear more of this. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's always got a good idea. Yeah. Excited about the, uh, what, the Asian Cup, of course. Big win. Yep. Yeah. Excited about our... I'm award. very excited. Not excited. I'm not too excited so it shows in a onesie. Below the desk, Dean. Yeah. Even below the desk. So our group, as uh, Sam said before, is Australia... Yeah. Oh, don't Daniel give me the Dish, graphic. Jordan and the other two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you put out the two. So I'm you've got a new segment for it. Yeah. It's not even that's a segment. Not, that's not disrespectful. I just no. don't know how to say the names. Yeah, yeah that's, that's absolutely I, that, uh, This is a segment. Well, it's not even a segment. Okay. What I'd like to do is test your guys' knowledge oh, yes. of our opponents. Yes. And you've travelled the world a lot, so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll throw you into this, guys. Okay. I know uh, Jordan. Peter Andre used to... Yeah! We are away. We are you like Jordan, Jordan? Okay, let's stick with Jordan. Okay. Let's what go. is the capital of Jordan? Katie Price. Price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Price. No, no. It's uh, Jay. Oh, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> Thank you for those. <laughs> Jordan City. Jordan City. Amman. Amman is the capital oh, of give us a, Jordan. Give us an what, what is, what is Mount it? Nebo uh, famous for? Connected to the elbow? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's it's, the tallest mountain in... Um, it's in Jordan. It is a mountain. In Jordan. It's, it's in the Jordan. tallest mountain in Jordan. The burial place of Moses. And that's, that's a very it. tall mountain. Yeah. <laughs> very tall mountain. Uh, what is the capital of Kurdistan? Sam. Yeah. No, that's not the answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sam said to me specifically before I came on the show is to not get in his way. He did say that, and he <laughs> and said it in the break as yeah. well. Capital, so, capital Sam of Kurdistan. Kurdistan. Kyrgyzstan? Where's that? Have you changed the country? <laughs> no, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. Is, um, is this one of your travel books that you're doing? No. <laughs> Bishkek. Bish Bishkek. 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 Yeah. I read it. Yeah. Who's country? Who's quiet over there? Who's, yeah. Yeah. Whose country's international calling code is plus 992? <laughs> There's not even that many countries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how can we have got to that number already? Well, it's got to be one is of the four. Stand? It's Tajikistan. It's Because that's how much it is a minute. 992 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the one phone. So imagine you call that adult line. Yeah. <laughs> in which country? In which that onesie. Yeah. Of those four countries, in which country mm. is it considered polite to refuse a meal three times before actually accepting it? I know this one. Do you? Yeah. It's a country that Nathan Tinkler will never visit. That is not. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, oh, I say Bangladesh. No. Oh, Jordan. Oh, right, so he went back and he got us with a two Jordan. Yeah, goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any Bangladesh, have any Bangladesh okay. questions there? OK. In which country do people seldom smile? Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, they don't smile because, not because they're unfriendly, because smiling is uh, considered a sign of immaturity. Bangladeshis? Yeah, Bangladeshi. that's what the Bangladeshis smile. I think we'll see them smile. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. I love like it when they get a wicket in the cricket. Just... Yeah. <laughs> 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 in which country can tourists negotiate with any car on the road because they're all potential taxis if the price is right? Oh. That's King's Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it starts with K. Is it, no, it's K. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it starts with K and doesn't have a vowel in there. What about his clues? It starts with K. This one starts with J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, one, this one ends in Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we should call it quick. Yeah. 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 Yes, you're going to be